What up my Elvis fanatics, we back at it again, and today we're going to do a reaction called Paula Hunt and Elvis Presley at Graceland in the summer of 1969. I don't know who Paula Hunt is, thanks to Kathy Fielder for this again, once again, Kathy Fielder, thank you very much. Um, I don't know if she was just a fan or not, Paula Hunt was, so we're going to find out. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, let's get right into it. Boop. During the summer of 1969, we came to Graceland every weekend for about six weeks and Elvis was home every time and we would see him riding his golf cart and horses on the grounds and see I know you love horses we would see Priscilla and Lisa Marie in the golf cart with him awesome. Harold Lloyd who was Elvis's cousin was one of the guards and he had gotten to know us so every time we would walk up Harold would open the gates and let us in that's awesome Harold had told us that Elvis was, had been coming down to the gates about 9 o'clock every night and signing autographs and uh, talking to the fans. So we stayed that night until 9 o'clock and Elvis came down on the golf cart and as soon as he got off, my friend asked him if I could have my picture made with him and he said, sure, come on up here. So I started trying to walk to him, and I could not walk. <laughs> Every time I would take a step, one of my knees would fall to the ground. Yeah, I would imagine. Get up and the other one would fall. So Elvis came and picked me up. And, Ooh, um, she knows she fell. <laughs> so my friend was very nervous also and had trouble getting the camera to work. So I got to stand there hugging Elvis for quite a while. And Elvis was the most gorgeous thing I have. So this is a regular fan, right? Let me know in the comments. I think that's what it is. It's like a regular fan comes all the time to, to Elvis' house at Graceland just to see the guy doing his normal day things. That's freaking awesome. Like, And he'll come out every night and talk to his fans, give autographs, take pictures. Like, That's what you do as an artist and give back as you give back to your fans. Some of these artists nowadays want to charge for autographs and stuff like that. Or you get too close to them, they're going to punch your lights out. Like, it's crazy. Awesome, awesome. Elvis, one of a kind. I've ever seen, and he was actually better looking in person than in pictures. I know that's very hard to believe. I mean, he still looked good in pictures, so I imagine he must have looked... Just totally <laughs> perfect. He did not have a flaw or a blemish, and uh, he was just so gorgeous and so nice and very kind and after I had my picture made he turned to walk away and I remembered <coughs> that I had a 1969 penny in my hand that I had wanted him to touch so that I could put on my charm bracelet <laughs> and so I uh, after he turned around I said Elvis and he looked back and said yes and I said would you touch this penny for me and he said, sure. So he took the penny and he rubbed it in his hands real good and kind of chuckled and gave it back to me. And I said, oh, thank you so much. He said, sure, anytime. And uh, then he went over and stood on a tree stump and uh, told him to open the gates and let all the fans in, which the fans were screaming and trying to climb the gate and the fence. and. So when he opened the gate, they just came rushing in. This really impressed me very much because I was only 13. I was very skinny, real little. Wow, only 13. And I was just about to get to Elvis. She was just a fan. That's amazing. Him. And two uh, wow. much bigger and much older girls than me got in front of me and was trying to keep me back. And somehow he noticed this. Uh, he was busy signing autographs and talking to people, but he noticed, and he reached in between them and got my hand and pulled me up on the stump with him. And that really meant a lot to me oh, that he would I could imagine. something like that. Guys, I could imagine. For real, I could imagine. Holy shit. I could imagine. <laughs> How she felt amazed and awe, you know what I mean? Uh, I want to do another one. Actually, it just came right up. Uh, Donna Lewis first met Elvis in July 1962 by Graceland. I think the most awesome memory is the first meeting. And we had actually lived in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, we wanted to see Graceland. 
We didn't know Elvis was home, but we were fans, and this was in 1962. So we drove down from Cincinnati, and we went to the gate and met Elvis's Uncle Travis. Uncle Travis and us, we, you know, we spent a few hours together, kibitzing and talking about Elvis. And he knew we were from out of town. So he said, would you like to see what Memphis looks like? And he took us by Chenault's and the Nucci's and the Lowe's where Elvis had hung Say hi to everybody. So after a few hours, it was getting very, very late. And this was about midnight, and we were in Travis's pink Cadillac convertible, which was a dream come true anyhow, you know. We pulled up at the fairgrounds, and uh, it was pitch black. And all of a sudden, all the lights started to come on in the fairgrounds. And a limousine pulls right up in front of the pink Cadillac. And Travis looks at us and gives us this sheepish little grin like Elvis has got. And the limousine door opens and Elvis steps out with Anita Wood. And this was a hot summer night in July, 1962. And uh, Elvis had on a hot pink shirt and a little boat cap and he had some gloves on. And Uncle Travis introduced us to Elvis. And we got our pictures taken and he kissed my sister and myself and he shook my mother's hand. So for the next... I want to see pictures, though. They said they got their pictures taken, but I'm sure you can develop pictures back in those days. So where are the pictures? I want to see them. So three or four hours we spent riding the Pippin, which was his favorite ride. You know, the old roller coaster. Um, he was on the dodging cars. And Elvis himself operated a ro ride called the Rocket. But Elvis didn't ride the Rocket because it went so fast. Well, uh, Elvis was letting the Rocket go at full speed. And everyone was yelling for him to try to turn it off because they were starting to feel nauseous. And uh, Elvis wouldn't do it naturally, so he turned all the lights off. He started to walk down, and he knew people were starting to feel a little upset, you know. So he filled a glass of water. And so they would think someone in front of them in the front car was getting sick. He started throwing a glass of water on people. I'm typing to you, Kathy Fielder. He was shouting, <laughs> screaming and yelling. He was just laughing his head off. He was having a good time. We spent four nights here in Memphis, and we went to the Crosstown, and the fairgrounds and the Memphian with Elvis. So we spent four nights out of four nights with him. And the last night we were at the show with Elvis and Anita Wood. And Elvis comes up to us, and we thanked him for such a wonderful trip and a wonderful time spending with him. And he said the strangest thing to us. He said, I know you're going back home tomorrow. He said, but don't forget me. Don't forget and me. <laughs> it was just like a, uh, like he was so earnest about not forgetting him, you know. Mm. And he said that we should move down here. So three years later, we did. And for the next 15 years, we went to the fairgrounds and uh, the movies, the wedding reception, New Year's Eve parties. And then Daddy even went to work for Elvis at the Circle G Ranch. And you've heard a lot about the, the grill down there. My daddy built that for Elvis as a wedding present in 1967, hmm. you know? But I think the most important thing to remember for anyone that he touched everybody's life somehow. But I know he changed our lives. And when you were with Elvis, it was like you were in a, a Camelot or a bubble all your own and nothing bad could ever happen. And, uh, you know, we could never thank him enough for what he did for us. You know, Elvis is just a, such a genuine person, man. Like, he's really for the people, man. He wasn't all about himself. You know how celebrities hide, you know, in their houses or they got an entourage, you know what I mean? Like, he's he was open to everybody, yo. You know what I mean? Kathy, I appreciate you. I threw an extra video in here. Uh, I never know. It came out It came out after the other video, so I just left it playing. Donna Lewis first met Elvis in July 1962 at Graceland. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Do what you got to do. I appreciate every single one of you for the support. Until next time, peace.